Hi, my name is Paul. Today, I'm going to discuss about Kohlberg's theory of moral development. So before we start, let us define first morality. Morality means principles concerning the distinction between right and wrong or good and bad behavior. So we all know that there are different or many people in the world and many of us also have different ideas on what is right and what is wrong. So ibig sabihin, yung tama sayo may be mali sa akin and that area could a little bit difficult. However, there are a number of universal principles that the vast majority people live by and accept of what is right and what is wrong. So say for example, ang pumatay ng tao. That is a hinwas crime, right? And of course, almost or all of us agreed that hindi yan tamang gawain. So, that is an example of a universal principle of what is right and what is wrong. So, there is this famous psychologist named Lawrence Kohlberg, born in 1927 in Bronxville, New York. He had this study, a research, on the expanded on the earlier work of cognitive theorist Jean Piaget to explain the moral development of children, which he believed follows a series of stages. So, ang ginawa ni Kohlberg, meron siyang test, no? When he was reasoning in terms of moral development. So, ano yung test na ginamit niya? He called it the Heinz Dilemma. Now, I want, I want to tell you the Heinz Dilemma so that we can understand where Kohlberg got his research from. The Heinz Dilemma. Heinz's wife was near death from a special kind of cancer. There was one drug that the doctors thought may save her. It was a form of radium that the druggist in the same town had recently discovered. The drug was expensive, but the druggist was charging 10 times what it cost him to produce. So meaning to say, ang binayaran ng druggist is only $200 for the radium, pero ang charge niya sa kanya mga customers, $2,000 for a small dose of the drug. Mga mayayaman lang yung makaka-afford. So sa case ni Heinz, hindi siya makaka-afford. Kaya ang ginawa niya, he went to everyone he knew to borrow money, but he could only get together $1,000, which was half the cost. So bumalik siya dun sa druggist and tell that his wife was dying and asked if he would sell it to him at a cheaper price. May offer pa siya that he agreed to pay the full amount when he was able. Ano kaya ang, ang sinabi ng druggist? Okay, the druggist said, No, I discovered the drug and I expect to make money from it. So hindi kinagat ng druggist ang offer ni Heinz. So ano na lang ang gagawin ni Heinz? So ang ginawa ni Heinz, he became desperate and broke into the man's store and stole the drug for his wife. So, para sa inyo, tama ba yun ang ginawa ni Heinz? That's the question. Should Heinz have stolen the drug for his wife? You might answer yes, or you might answer no. So, kung ang nagtanong sa inyo nito ay si Kohlberg, at ang sabi nyo, nyo ay either yes or no, Kohlberg actually did not care whether your answer is yes or no, but he rather cared about the reasoning behind your answer. So, bakit kaya yung reasoning ang gusto makuha ni Kohlberg sa mga sagot na kanya mga participants? So, depending on your reasoning, you will be categorized on what levels or stages of moral development kayo na bibilong. Now, we have here the question. So, back to the question. Should Heinz have stolen the drug for his wife? And it, let's try to find out kung mag-iiba pa din ba yung reasons niyo. With these follow-up questions, would it change anything if Heinz did not love his wife? So, is, so nanakawin para pa rin ba ni Heinz yung drug if he did not love his wife? How about this? What if the person dying was a stranger? Would it make any difference? Ganun pa rin ba ang gagawin ni Heinz pag stranger yung taong uh, mamamatay na? Will he stole the drug? This. Should the police arrest the chemist 
of for murder if the woman died. So, nakuha na ni Heinz yung drug, pinainom niya sa asawa niya, pero namatay pa rin ito. So, responsible ba yung chemist? Should the police arrest the chemist? So, ito yung mga tanong na binabato ni Heinz doon sa kanyang mga participants sa kanyang research. So, he uses this studying the answers from children of different ages. So, Kohlberg hoped to discover how moral reasoning changed as people grew older. So, the sample comprised sa kanyang research, 72 boys aged 10 to, 68, uh, to 16 years old. At 58 doon sa kanyang samples were followed up at 3 yearly, yearly intervals for 20 years. So, meaning to say, so for example, at this year, nag-interview siya sa participants. After 3 years, nag-interview na naman siya. And he found out that nag-iiba pala yung stages of moral development na kanyang mga participants as they grow older. So, ayun. So, Kohlberg identified three distinct levels of moral reasoning. We have pre-conventional, conventional, and post-conventional. And each level has two stages. So, ito yun. So, level one, pre-conventional morality. We have stage one at saka stage two. Sa so, level two naman, conventional morality, meron tayong stage 3 at stage 4. As a level 3, post-conventional morality, we have stage 5 at saka stage 6. Now, back with the Heinz Dilemma. We are now going to assess where you fall on the levels and stages of Goldberg's moral development. And let's find out how advanced your moral thinking is according to Goldberg's. So, I have here three options. So, among these three options, I want you to choose one. So, be careful because later on, we'll be uh, finding out kung anong levels or stages of moral development kayo na bibilong. So, we have here option A. Heinz should steal the drugs and not go to prison as this is unfair. Option B. Heinz should not steal the drugs since he would be breaking the law. Option C, Heinz should steal the drug and accept any prison sentence. So I want you to choose one. <coughs> okay, so nakapagpili na ba kayo? So if your answer is... B, so you are probably in the level 1 pre-conventional morality. So, sa B, Heinz should not steal the drugs since he would be breaking the law. So, sa level 1 pre-conventional morality, this is where right and wrong determined by rewards or punishment. Accordingly, sa state of mind mostly up to 7th year of our life. But, According to Kohlberg, adult may also act out with this level. So, i hindi ibig sabihin na kapag adult ka na, hindi ka na nag act out in this level or stages sa moral development. So, we have here stage 1. Obedience and punishment orientation. Children desire to obey rules and avoid being punished. If they are punished, which gives the signals that their act is morally wrong. So, doon sa Heinz Dilemma, hindi ginawa yun ni Heinz na mag or ninakaw ang or nakawin ang drug. It's because he think that he will be punished, of course, by breaking the law. So, another example yung mga parents or even mga teachers, minsan sinasabihan nila yung mga bata na, sige, pag ginawa mo yan, papaluin kita. So, hindi yun gagawin ng, ng bata thinking that it was morally wrong because it has a punishment. So, yan yung mentality nila. Pag may punishment, that is morally wrong. So, that is for stage 1. For stage 2, instrumental orientation. Children act like give and take strategy. You do my work and I will do yours. 
In this stage, children take some incentives in return to do work. So, hindi ginawa yun ni Heinz kasi wala naman talaga siyang mapapala sa kanyang sarili. Or baka pag ginawa niyo yun, mabaril pa siya ng security for an example at mapatay pa siya. So, in this stage, he is thinking of himself only. So, hindi niya, wala siya pakialam doon sa asawa niya. Kasi, doon siya sa may mapala siya sa kanyang gagawin. So, that is stage 2. So, another example sa mga bata. Minsan pag pag, mer- pag nakikisuyo tayo, pag nagpapabili tayo ng something, minsan hindi sila nag agree doon sa mga suyo natin without any incentive. So, ayun, pag may pinapabili tayo doon sa tindahan, minsan binibigyan pa natin sila ng 1 peso just for them to do the task. ba? So, ayun, not all naman children will do that. But, some children may act like give and take strategy. So, that is for stage 2, instrumental orientation. Now, if your answer is letter C, Heinz should steal the drug and accept any prison sentence, you are probably in the level 2 conventional morality. So basically, it is from 8 to 13 years old. So yun nga yung sinabi ko, it does not mean na 8 to 13 years old lang ang mag act out nito. It could also be adults. So most likely, nag-change lang siya at this age na nag-level up sila into this level or stages at those bracket of age no 8 to 13 years old so views of others matter avoidance of blame and seeking approval so we have here stage 3 good boy or nice girl orientation people want to be praised and want to be seen as a good boy or nice girl by others People want to attain good social status and recognition. Doon sa case ni Heinz, he did stole the drug, ninakaw niya yung drug, thinking that people around him will think that what he did is an heroic act. Kasi pag hindi, hindi niya rin yung ginawa, people may think that he is a bad person. So, dahil ginawa niya, yung mga kakilala niya, socially would think na ang bait-bait niya. Ang galing naman niya, ginawa niya para alang-alang sa kanyang asawa. So, yun yung good boy or nice girl orientation sa stage 3. So, sa stage 4, law and order orientation, people become aware of wider rules of society and follow the law to avoid guilt. So, ayun, um, Heinz steal the drug, stole the drug, and of course, he breaks the law, and in returns, he will be having a prison sentence. At dahil, yun nga, um, Heinz is one of those people that aware of wider rules and follow the law to avoid guilt, ina accept niya yung prison sentence. So, another example is tayo. For an example, nagda-drive tayo, and then dumating tayo dun sa traffic light, tapos nagre-red light. So, what we're going to do? Magsa-stop tayo. Of course, that is one of an example. We are abiding, abiding the law. Now, if your answer is letter A, Heinz should steal the drugs and not go to prison as this is unfair. You are probably in the level 3 post-conventional morality. Congratulations because according to Colbert, kunti lang talaga yung mga ta- tao na nare-reach ang level or stages na ito. So this, this is where adulthood. So abstract notions of justice, rights of others can override obedience to laws or rules. So, so stage 5, social contract and individual right. Some people think that rules are good for human beings, but sometimes they should be disobeyed depending on the situation and interest of the individual. So say for example, the on Heinz dilemma, so saving the life of his wife was more important 
than law and order. So, kaya niya, ninakaw yung drug. Because importante kasi yung buhay niyang asawa niya. Wala na siya pakialam. Kung ano man yung sasabihin ng ibang tao. Kasi yun yung importante, ang buhay niya ng asawa niya. Than the law and order. Okay, we have stage 6, universal principles. People develop their own guidelines and this law sometimes fit and sometimes do not fit with the law. So, doon sa Heinz dilemma, Heinz told, ninako niya yung drug at he will not go to prison because for him it was unfair. So, maybe sa kanyang own principle, it was unfair for him to go to prison. It's because sobrang mahal ng drug at saka may offer siya doon sa druggist to pay the full amount when he was able pero hindi yun in -accept. for him it was so inhumane unequal so kaya yun nagawa ni Heinz so yun yung mga levels and stages of Goldberg's moral development so for uh, for a summary so level 1 pre-conventional morality we have obedience and punishment orientation so stage 2 instrumental or orientation so level 2 naman conventional morality stage 3 good boy or nice girl orientation so stage 4 law and order orientation so level 3 post conventional morality so stage 5 social contract and individual right so stage 6 naman universal principles now we have here research findings now using the Kohlberg's theory of moral development. Of course, unahin natin si Kohlberg on 1984. So yun nga yung sinabi ko. Sa study niya, mayroon siyang 20-year duration study of 58 Americans males who progressed as predicted through stages 1 to 4. 10 to 16 years old stages 1 and 2 decreased and stage 3 and 4 increased. But only... 10% at stage 5 in their 30s and no evidence of stage 6. Kaya niya nasabi na sa level 3, konti lang talaga yung mga people that would reach it. So, same theories, uh, gamit pa rin ang Kohlberg's theory, uh, sa study ni Snarry 1985, meta-analysis of 41 studies from 27 cultures. So, According to Snarry, he supports Goldberg prediction through stages 1 to 4. At based sa kanyang findings, stage 5 daw more in western cultures than rural or village cultures. <coughs> Another study from Isawa, 1992. Cross-cultural -cul analysis of Japan and USA. So meron siyang dalawang cultures, no? Meron siyang participants from USA and participants from Japan. So, USA participants favored Heinz stealing to preserve his wife's life. Kabaliktaran to doon sa Japanese participants that thought that he should not steal to preserve a clean and pure life. So, that is very interesting kasi Japan and USA, of course, have different culture and they also have different ideas in terms of Heinz dilemma. Then we have Carol Gilligan, 1982. So according to Carol, Kohlberg is sex biased, androcentrism, andro meaning man or male. So according to her, Kohlberg only interviewed males, which is totoo naman because Kohlberg only interviews mga Chicago boys. Right? So ang ginawa ni Carol Gilligan ay nag-interview din siya ng mga females. And according to her findings, females are more on interpersonal feelings. Doon sila sa stage 3. Tapos, ang mga males naman, more on principles na belong naman sila doon sa stage 4 and stage 5. So, yun yung mga research findings using Kohlberg's theory of moral development. Maybe, sa inyo, if gusto nyo magkaroon ng research sa masteral ninyo, you can also use the Goldberg's theory of moral development to know kung ano ba talaga yung mga stages ng mga bata dito sa Philippines. Especially dito sa, for example, sa Pagadian City or ka, saan man kayo magtuturo. So, let's find out kung ano yung mga stages of moral development 
dito sa atin locally. So, I think that's all for my report and topic. Thank you so much.